Yo, family, we might got one of the craziest games that I've just seen on Roblox. My boy Doge in our chat just sent this, and like, bro, I only saw a piece of it on Twitter. I didn't get to see the full quality, and my mind was literally just blown for like a little bit. I seen. There's no way this game. 2023 is going to be a crazy year for Roblox games, bro. I promise you, bro. 2022 was dry, bro. We did get games like Deep Walking, and I, I, maybe we got some other stuff. I don't remember. But I feel like it was a year of just like the, the games that was already out just getting updated. But this year, it seems like people was put in the work, and we are getting some, bro. This game is called Venture, and let's just watch it. We're gonna, I want to come back and watch it later, but I just kind of want to watch it right now so I can talk to you about it with Tara. But let's just watch it. And yeah, I, I, I gotta, we gotta see this, bro. The production quality looks insane, bro. Oh, bro, what are we looking at, bro? What are we looking at, man? This is crazy production level, man. Crazy production level. This is a level I would be at one day, man. We're making my own games. Just this level of production is just crazy. The world building looks cool. This dark aesthetic is fire. These custom rigs. Multiplayer, man. Bah, Bro, what is this thing, bro? This thing. <laughs> bro, I cannot venture alpha. Do we get a release date? Quarter two, 2023, bro. 2023 is gonna be so live. So if you guys don't know how quarters work, so January, February, March is quarter one, and then quarter two is April, May, June. So we're gonna begin this game before summer 2023. Yo, it's a lot that I wanna go break down in this trailer, but we're gonna come back to it a little bit later. You guys won't have to wait for it. It'll be like right about now. All right, guys, so it's been roughly two days since I've watched this trailer, so I initially react to it. We're gonna come back into it, but I'm just overall getting super excited for 2023 Roblox. I think it's gonna be an amazing year. We got a lot of games. Um, not only, there's a lot of games that I'm like, looking forward to but there's also a lot of games like i'm genuinely excited for it i'll probably like this in a second but yeah i just think it's gonna be a great year with robot anti-x coming along that's going to be amazing obviously people are doing exploit but just to be able to limit it a bit to allow them to have to spend less time trying to, to stop exploits and more time and putting, putting um, more work into the game this is going to overall just you know be better for the for, for the platform the platform is offering so much more things it's just, we're, we're really trying to limit break on roblox and this game is just an example of it um and i'm just really excited for 2023 and what's what's in store as far as like games even all for it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a really great year for, for gaming in general 2023 in my personal opinion like some of the games that like, i'm getting excited for starting off with the rip like heroes united which is my game of course my first game out there obviously i'm excited to put it out there um uh, Devils of Creation, extremely excited for that MMO game. Voxel Blade 2, love that series, love Voxel Blade. This one's going like really going to the right direction. We got Pocket Anime, that game looks fire. It's the anime Pokemon, I love me some Pokemon, I love me some anime combined the two. Fire. Our World of Stands is actually dropping on the 31st, so it's, it's, it's going to start off our 2023 strong. There's a lot of games, like I said, I'm just like looking forward to. Like, I want to say I'm like, Exciting, exciting! Like I'm just like who's now hype, but I definitely can't wait for these to come out. I can't wait to try them. Like, like, um, like Jump Warrior Z and um, and 
Showdown, Tower Bell, and um, M4K, oh, it's okay, that was like really fun, and uh, speaking of Pokemon, we got uh, Tales of Scenario, cool. Kaiba, and Final Stand 2, and um, Holy War X, bro, it's like, it's like a bunch of games, and I'm trying to remember a bunch of games off my head, and I'm running out, but I know there's even more games to look forward to, I just think we're going to have an overall really exciting year when it comes to anime games. Games on Roblox, anime games, RPG games, and it's just a lot. Just a lot. So, it's like I said, it's been two days since I watched the trailer again. Come on, just look over it. Just one more time, run through it for, for a second glance. And I just really love the production quality of this game. Um, hopefully, what I am worried about is that it's like super dark. And I hope that doesn't like take away from the experience like it's like super super dark watching this trailer like super super dark but these areas don't look too bad and i'm, I'm interested to see how the combat is because i i think in it, it already says so we're gonna have um which uh, blah, 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 blah. let's read this right victor is a robux mmo rpg which specializes in all aspects of mmo from pvp arenas open world pvp to even the raids and dungeons so i'm curious about that because I get, like, more Dark Souls vibes from this game compared to, like, MMO vibes. It doesn't seem like we have, like, a lot of diversity in, the in like, the types of your weapons. Like, you're just going to be using melee weapons. So, I'm, I'm curious, like, when it comes to, like, the raids, like, who's going to be the tank and who's going to be support and all this type of stuff. Do, you, do we have healing and do we have magic? And it, like, it, it looks like a 1v1 brawler type of fighting game. Like, we, like, lock it on to people. It's going to be, like period outplaying and dodging so i'm curious to see how that transitions into a raid or dungeon now the cutscenes for the raid the dungeon are going to be fire you can see right here this production quality they definitely have a really talented team right here for sure even this camera work the camera work right here is amazing bro like and that's tough to do like it's like some really good camera work that flows all with the scenes sorry if i'm sniffing a bit i think i'm getting a, a little bit under the weather unfortunately but you guys can just see, like, the like, don't, don't, hold, like, hold on, let's, let's listen to this real quick, listen to this real quick. Like, I don't know if you took that in, but the music transition and it fits the scenes, that is high level production. It's one thing to just put music in the background, it's another thing where the music resonates with what's going on this music is fire too by the way like you can grasp the emotions in in, the, in this film bro like like it it's drawing out to me like this is so good this is so good bro you look at someone like the co-op play we're like we're like some sneaking aspects it's like it's probably gonna be like a boss area right here but yeah, only thing I worry about this game when they say it's like MMORPG is some of the diversity. Like we see, we see a bit right here, right? Like we're gonna see like just in this one instance, we got like this, this. I don't, I don't, do we want to call it the great sword? But we got like this. We just call it great sword for right now. This great sword looking type weapon, and then it's gonna transition here in a bit to like some a little bit of action right here. We saw like a it like like a mace type weapon, and this guy's using a sword right here. That may be like just the, the sword that we saw earlier, not a great sword. Then we saw a pole as well. Right here, I think this is the pole right here. We are getting a bit of like different variety in some like the weapons. But I'm just curious to see like when it comes to dungeon. Then this creeper crawler is gonna come out here in a bit. The world, the world follows the same like flow of this like this barren like wasteland, like dark ages type type vibes going on. And then we got like this creeper goddamn crawler. Man, that is gonna be creepy to scary to fight, bro. But I'm excited to see it. I hope we get like skills and magics and weapons. But like, like I said, once again, it looked like, like locked on in the combat. So I'm just interested to see how the PVE plays out for the most part. I like the PvP is gonna be pretty cool. But I'm interested to see like when it's called by dungeons and raids. You know what I'm saying? How is that gonna work out? Well, all of us fighting like one big boss. For me, it seems more like Dark Souls as like co-op and fighting a big boss compared to like a mmo raid dungeon but we'll just see how that ends up going let me know what you guys think guys are you excited for this game or are you excited for 2023 i think 2022 was 
a year of development. A lot of games were just in development and just didn't unfortunately come out, my game included. And I think this year we're going to like really, really see games pour out. And I think we're going to get a lot of games take over front page and hopefully we get like some some games that legacy, I call them legacy games, that's going to be around the platform for a long time. So I'm super excited for 2023. Let me know what you guys think. Are you excited? Are you just like, eh, whatever. Um, and yeah, catch you boys later. If you're new around here, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you guys don't miss out on any videos. Until my next one, I'm out. Peace.